There are certain specific patterns that appear across the world grid, uniting ancient sites despite vast differences in geography and time. These patterns can be observed in iconic locations, such as the Cave of Lascaux in France and in the rock shelters of South Africa. These striking similarities prompt fascinating questions about the shared creative impulses of early humans, as well as the interconnectedness of prehistoric cultures. While these two cultures are separated by thousands of kilometers and existed in vastly different epochs, their art conveys an underlying connection to universal human experiences and symbolic systems. Welcome to a journey through time and beneath the earth, where the secrets of the ancient world lie hidden in the shadows. Today we embark on an extraordinary exploration of two breathtaking subterranean wonders, the submerged marvel of the Costa Cave, a Paleolithic masterpiece tucked beneath the Mediterranean Sea near Marsilias, and the immense underground canyons of the Scotchen Caves in Slovenia. These awe-inspiring places hold profound mysteries, offering a unique glimpse into the lives and imaginations of our distant ancestors. Our journey begins with Costa Cave, located near Marsilias in the rugged beauty of the Calanquis region of southern France. This remarkable underwater cave provides a rare portal into the Upper Paleolithic period. Its story began in 1985, when Itri Costa, a professional diver from Marsilias, first ventured into its submerged depths. Costa's motivations were fueled not by archaeological ambitions but by a deep passion for diving and the allure of the unknown. The cave's entrance, now lying 37 meters below the surface of the sea near Cap Morgiou, was once accessible by land before rising sea levels following the last ice age submerged it. This natural inundation preserved the cave's contents remarkably well over millennia. Initially, Costa's explorations were driven by curiosity rather than scientific inquiry. However, as he navigated deeper into the labyrinth of tunnels and chambers, he noticed something extraordinary walls adorned with ancient artwork. These early discoveries hinted at an untold story waiting to be uncovered. At first, the significance of these findings was not immediately recognized, but over time their implications became increasingly evident. In 1991, six years after his initial exploration, Costa reached out to Jean Klotz, a renowned prehistorian, to conduct a formal scientific examination of the site. Klotz confirmed that the paintings and engravings within the cave dated back to the Upper Paleolithic period, making them an invaluable addition to the study of prehistoric art and human history. The Costa Cave presents unique challenges for exploration and preservation. Its entrance, a long and narrow underwater tunnel, can only be navigated by highly skilled divers, creating a natural barrier that has protected its treasures from casual explorers and environmental harm. This fortuitous inaccessibility has preserved the delicate prehistoric artworks, shielding them from human interference and natural degradation. The combination of this isolation, exceptional preservation conditions, and significant archaeological findings makes Costa Cave a unique and invaluable window into humanity's distant past. Delving deeper into the mysteries of Costa Cave reveals not only its historical importance but also the geological forces that shaped it. The cave, nestled within the limestone cliffs of the Calanques, is the result of millions of years of natural processes, including erosion, sedimentation, and tectonic activity. These forces carved out an intricate network of chambers and narrow passages, extending hundreds of meters into the cliffs. The main entrance, now submerged beneath the sea, forms a 175-meter-long underwater tunnel, which has helped maintain the cave's internal climate and preserve its ancient art. Inside Costa Cave, over 500 graphic elements provide a vivid snapshot of life during the Paleolithic era. The cave's artwork is divided into two distinct periods, the earlier creations, dating back 27,000 to 19,000 years ago, predominantly consist of hand stencils and geometric shapes. These symbols reflect early humans' attempts to explore personal identity and abstract thought. The later works demonstrate a remarkable evolution, featuring detailed depictions of both terrestrial and marine fauna. This progression suggests an increasing cognitive complexity and cultural sophistication among the cave's inhabitants. One of Costa Cave's most extraordinary features is its depictions of marine life, including seals and jellyfish. Such portrayals are exceptionally rare in Paleolithic art, which predominantly focuses on terrestrial animals. This emphasis on marine creatures suggests that the cave's ancient artists had a unique maritime culture, relying on the sea for sustenance and embedding it deeply into their spiritual and artistic practices. This maritime focus stands in stark contrast to inland sites like the famed Cave of Lascaux, where the art emphasizes land animals, 
reflecting a lifestyle closely tied to forests and plains. The artistic themes of Costa Cave bear intriguing similarities to other prehistoric sites across the globe. For instance, the Indonesian Ling Timpusing Cave, home to the world's oldest known cave painting of a warty pig, also demonstrates early human creativity and environmental awareness. However, while Ling Timpusing emphasizes terrestrial fauna, Costa Cave uniquely integrates marine life, offering a rare glimpse into the interplay between humanity and the sea during the Paleolithic era. Some researchers propose that Costa Cave's dual focus on terrestrial and marine life may reflect a mythological or totemic system where animals were revered as spiritual symbols or guides. The respectful and detailed representation suggests that these creatures were valued for more than just their nutritional importance. It is possible that Costa Cave served as a sacred site, a place where rituals were performed or cultural teachings about these spirit animals were passed down. This intertwining of art, spirituality, and environment underscores the profound connection between the cave's ancient inhabitants and their world, revealing the depth and complexity of early human culture. From the maritime splendor of Costa Cave, our journey transitions to the dramatic landscapes of Eastern Europe, where the Skokchan Caves of Slovenia unveil another mesmerizing subterranean realm. These caves dot 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 the Skokchan Caves, located in Slovenia, are a breathtaking testament to the interplay between nature and history. Beyond their cavernous wonders, they serve as a profound record of the region's rich archaeological and cultural heritage. In 1986, the Skokchan Caves earned recognition as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, celebrated not only for their extraordinary natural formations, but also for their immense cultural and ecological significance. These caves have intrigued humans for centuries and perhaps even millennia, drawing explorers, scientists, and curious travelers alike. The dramatic phenomenon of the Rika River vanishing into the depths of the earth has inspired local Slavic folklore, weaving tales of mysterious chasms and underworld passages. This enduring connection to the caves reflects their profound impact on regional identity and mythology. One of the earliest comprehensive accounts of the Skokchen Caves was penned by Johann Weikard von Valvasor in 1689 in his renowned work The Glory of the Duchy of Carniola. Valvasor's vivid descriptions of the cave's grandeur sparked widespread interest across Europe, planting the seeds for later exploration and study. However, it was not until the 1880s that scientific expeditions began in earnest. These efforts extended well into the early 20th century and resulted in the meticulous mapping of the cave's extensive network of passages and chambers. To support these explorations and make the caves more accessible, paths and bridges were constructed, enabling both scientific inquiry and tourism. Today, these early undertakings are viewed as pivotal moments in the exploration and understanding of this natural wonder.